Hello, Claxton Star families, and welcome to Open House. We have a little bit of a different format this year, and we're going to see if we like it. If we do, then we'll keep it. If we don't, then we'll go back to what we were doing before. But all of our PTA board members are here, vice presidents and officers are here, and they will speak in just a little bit as soon as I finish talking and tell you more about the PTA. So, I just want to give you a little bit of information about Claxton. You should each have one of these sheets right here on the desk or table where you are sitting. And it gives you a lot of information about us. It talks about our school performance, about different clubs that we have, different information about me, and also how you can connect with Claxton. We have two Facebook pages, we have a Twitter account, you can email me. It also gives information for PTA because they have um, a Facebook page and, and a website and lots of other ways that you can communicate and find out what's going on at the school. So let me tell you a little bit about Claxton and you can read it there as well. We right now have 580 students. We had pretty much four to five classes per grade level, six at one grade level. And some of you know we had to make some switches because there were too many second graders in a class and not enough third graders in a class. And so that has been switched around a little bit and um, the first day was actually today. So it went pretty smooth. So 580 students in all, 28 regular classrooms, and then one self-contained classroom of students that are on the adapted curriculum. All parents used to receive a student handbook from Guilford County Schools. Now that handbook is online, as well as Claxton's handbook. So if you want to know more information about our rules and different things that we are doing here, at Claxton and um, like the discipline code and what students should wear. All of that kind of information is online. So you can go to our Claxton website and find it out. Um, we are really, really trying to make sure that we have good attendance with our students this year. We didn't push it as much last year, but I just really talked to the students at the beginning of the year, making sure that they understood that coming to school is very important, unless, of course, you have a family vacation, and if you go online, you can find out exactly what to do when you have a family vacation in order for those absences to be excused. Um, so we want our students to come to school every day, and if they do, then they will certainly do well at school. Um, students are tardy after 7.40 a.m., and that time is set. So parents, if you are wake up late or you come to school late, please make sure that you are signing your students in. They can't just come in on their own if they come after 7.40. And we start to make our afternoon announcements at 2.20, and so students can be dismissed after that. Um, we also want to make sure that students are reading daily. It is so very important, and we have an incentive for that. Our wonderful PTA has reading celebrations for us every single quarter. As a matter of fact, we had one last week to celebrate students that were reading during the summer, and they brought in their reading sheets. So if you're unfamiliar with this, please ask your child's teacher. Homework is also very important. The teachers will talk about that when you um, hear what they have to say. Homework is so very important, and they will give you some advice about how you can help your child to do well in school. I wanted to <clears throat> finally talk about our goals for this school year. We always want to improve in reading and math and science because those are the areas that students are tested in. In third, fourth, and fifth grade, they are tested in reading and math. And then in fifth grade, they are tested in reading, math, and science. And so it's so important that the students do well and pay attention. And we prepare them all year long for these end of grade tests. We did improve significantly on our end of grade tests last school year, and we want to keep that going. So we really want to work on the improvement in reading, math, science, and also closing the achievement gap between African American students and all other subgroups of students, all other races. Our students, our African American students have not performed as well as the other subgroups of students. So we are trying to look at ways to help 
the African American subgroup improve um, their proficiency. Okay, last thing that I have to say is about phone calls from me. Pretty much twice a month, I will make a phone call. A, we call it a connected message, but it's a phone call where I call your homes and I tell you about something that's coming up. Most of you should have gotten the phone call that I sent last night that told you about this meeting, and I sent one last week as well. So if you did not get that phone call, please tell your child's teacher because that means that I don't have your phone number correct and I need to have it. Also, if you have two different households, mom lives here, dad lives here, or one parent lives here and the other lives there, whichever, if you both want to receive the phone call, you also need to let your teacher know because your teacher can then let me know. All right, that's all that I have to say today, and I'm ready to turn it over to our PTA president, Ms. Naya Hinton. Hi, Clacks and families. My name is Naya Hinton, and I'm your PTA president. Um, this membership drive in September 30th, and you should have received this form in your child's Monday folder a couple weeks ago. Um, I would like to reiterate the importance of the PTA membership. Uh, we not only use the funds to support programs in our school, um, but we could also use the hands as well. We are always welcoming new members and ideas. I would also like to give you a, a brief list of some upcoming PTA sponsored events that we're having this year. Uh, we will have the Booster Thon, uh, which Carly Cook, our VP of Ways and Means, will discuss more. Uh, we will have National Custodial Heroes Day, which is next Wednesday, October 2nd. Uh, we will also have our first annual Hunger Heroes Turkey Trot on Friday, November 15th. Uh, we will have a PTA social, holiday social in December, our regular superheroes breakfast in February, and uh, Family Fitness Day, Spring Carnival, and Super Shiro's Day, well, Super Shiro's Breakfast in May. Hello, I am Christy Helms, the Vice President of Service in the PTA, and I just wanted to talk to you about some of the committees um, that I support, which are beautification, which involves uh, cleanup days, on the exterior of the school to make it look nice as well as any projects we might come up with to make the inside of the school look nice. Uh, spring carnival which everybody loves. We have movie nights, um, the school store which kids go nuts over, um, parent and student breakfast, yearbook club, um, the book fair which I wanted to let you know that our um, fall book fair will take place November 15th through the 25th, and staff appreciation, which we love to um, take care of the staff here at Claxton. We do holiday luncheons, um, gift card lotteries, and it, this also includes our Adopt-A-Star program, uh, which if you have not yet adopted a staff member and would like to, you will see my table at the front of the school and um, you can talk to me there more about the program and adopt somebody there to take care of during the school year this year sending them lots of nice surprises um, and we are looking for chairpersons for these committees that fall under me um, so if you're interested in that or just volunteering your time please either find me or you can email me at claxton PTA service at gmail.com. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sandra Bowles, and I am up for VP of Education at Claxton this year. So I'm going to take a few minutes just to talk about what all is covered by the VP of Ed Education part of the board, so that if you are interested in volunteering for any of these things, you can reach out to me and let me know. That would be great. Um, so first of all, the arts programs at Claxton, the after school arts programs, um, art club, the national PTA reflections, which we're working on now. Um, and then we're talking about maybe doing some other things that students can take home and then bring back to school quarterly for some, you know, localized school art competitions. Um, we've also got Battle of the Books, which has already started um, health and safety. So if you have any ideas for health and safety, fitness days, things like that, 
kids voting, the reading incentives, and the reading celebrations that we do each quarter for the students turning in their reading sheets, um, career day, uh, the science extravaganza that happens kind of toward the end of the year, character education as well. So that's the Star Student Awards. So um, if you are interested in helping out with any of those things, you don't have to be super creative to be able to help with the arts programs. You don't have to know a lot about science to help with the science programs. We just need kind of hands on deck as much as people can show up and just help out with the kiddos to keep them going on those things. So if you have any questions about those programs as the year goes on as well, you can reach me by email at claxtonptaeducation at gmail.com or if you would like to help with any of those things or other activities throughout the year, you can email me there or you can email our PTA president and we will get you in the right direction. So I hope everyone has a great rest of the evening. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin with Spiritwear. Last Monday, an order form went home with your students. Today, an information sheet went home on how to order Spiritwear. It tells you how to order online spirit wear. Go to our claxtonpta.org and click order spirit wear. That shows you different options on there. I'm going to show you some tonight. There are a few more options that we are giving online. At the end, when you go to checkout, please make sure you put your child's name and the teacher so we can get the spirit wear to the right child in the right classroom. Here are some options that we have. And then this one has the logo going down the sleeve. I hope you enjoy your, the spirit wear this year, and I can't wait to see all the kids rocking them. Hey, Claxton families. My name is Carly Cook, and I'm VP of Ways and Means, which is basically a fancy way of saying fundraising. So I'm going to talk to you about our fundraising plan for the year. Um, we have three main ways for you to support Claxton. The first and easiest way is to participate in our spirit nights. And you should have gotten a flyer home in your Monday folder today with all the dates. This year we're going to have spirit nights with Chick-fil-A Brassfield, Feeney's Frozen Yogurt on New Garden, and Cece's Pizza. Um, actually today is our first spirit night at Chick-fil-A, so drive on by on your way home and grab some chicken and put your receipt in the box so Claxton gets support from your participation. Um, the second way that we, um, we get financial support for the PTA is through our community sponsors. And you will see um, we have a, a long list of community sponsors that are partnering with us this year and providing a great amount of support for our PTA and our Claxton students. Um, they will be featured throughout the year in different ways. Tonight you'll see them around the school on different signs with their logos. Take a look at that and make sure that you show them your appreciation for their support whenever you have the chance. Um, they'll also be featured on the back of our Fun Run t-shirts, so you'll get a good look at that. Um, and they'll be featured on our website and Facebook page throughout the year. Uh, if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, we'd love to have you, and you can always reach out via our website, claxtonpta.org. And the third and most important way that all of our Claxton students and families can support uh, our school this year is through participating through with Boosterthon. Boosterthon is our main fundraising program and that is coming up the first week of August, week and a half. We'll start on October 1st with a pep rally and we'll run the program all the way through October 11th where we'll have a fun run. All of our Claxton students will participate in this fun run. It's a super, super fun way to support the school with a focus on physical fitness and character education. For those of you who have been here, you know how fun the Boosterthon team is. They come in and they have a great time with our students. Be sure to ask your star how much fun they're having during Boosterthon. It really is such a great way to participate. The kids have a great time. It's also a really great way for us to raise money. We, um, we have a big goal this year of $30,000. It is a big goal and we're going to need your help. We need everybody's help to make this happen. But if we can hit that big goal for Claxton, we're going to be able to do really big things. Um, in the past, our fundraising from Boosterthon has allowed us to purchase um, some new technology for our school, laptops, a smart board in the library, and other technology in the classrooms. And it helps us pay for our special programs, robotics, reading incentives, 
art club. So it really is a really a great way for all of us to support all of the programs at Claxton and improvements and things that we want to do for our school. So I encourage all of you to participate. All you have to do is log on to funrun.com. You'll be seeing lots of information coming home, emails, um, Facebook, and I'm sure Dr. Bergman will tell you all about it too as we get started. So we thank you ahead of time for your support. Hey Claxton families, my name is uh, Matt Hickling and I was the 2018-2019 PTA treasurer and uh, excited to be coming back for another year. Uh, thanks so much to Carly for all of that she's done so far with doing our fundraising. Um, Carly gave you some of the, the different ways that Claxton uh, is able to get help from you guys and uh, hopefully uh, in the classrooms you guys are seeing some of the budgets circulating around. Uh, these are the actual numbers that we're trying to achieve. Um, as you can see at the top, Claxton sponsorships and Boosterthon, those are really, really big events. But we certainly also do, do need your help for some of the other items that I'd like to touch on. One uh, is uh, Amazon Smile, and we'll make sure that we give you guys more information on Amazon Smile. Uh, it's a great way. All you have to do is just sign on and purchase Amazon uh, items like you typically do, except for uh, you need to include the Amazon Smile domain uh, that will have Claxton attached to it. So we'll help you uh, figure out a way to, to get that set up. Uh, make sure you save your box tops and also uh, the Harris Teeter uh, in Lowe's Food. Every time you go shopping at the grocery stores, make sure that you update your, uh, your VIT cards every single year because that does uh, expire every single year. It needs to be renewed. Um, we had a great year last year of fundraising. I think we've done a lot of really, really great things for this school. Um, we actually uh, are going to finish up purchasing 30 laptops for the school. Uh, this is going to be a great help for testing our fifth graders. I know our administration is really excited about completing that cart. Uh, Carly's mentioned that we've also done some other great technology upgrades to the library and we really want to continue to do that again this year. So we need your support. Uh, we really do appreciate everything you guys do for our school. Um, when you're looking at that budget, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, my email address uh, is claxtonptatreasurer at gmail.com. And, and once again, looking forward to serving you guys again this year. All right, it's Dr. Bergman's back again. And we have some voting to do this evening. So we have a few of our um, PTA board members that you need to vote on. We are voting on the Vice President of Education, which is Sandra Bells, the Vice President of Communication, which is Bridget McCoy, and Secretary, Melissa Skillings. So, if everyone is in favor of those particular officers taking those offices, say aye. Teachers, at this point you need to count the number of ayes. And then, anyone against, say nay. And teachers, you need to count the number that are saying nay. All right, next we need to vote on the budget. And there are several copies of the budget in the classrooms. And so we need for you all to vote on that. Everyone in favor of the budget, say aye. Teachers, count. Against the budget, say nay. Teachers, please count. All right, and if you have any questions, please look at the sheet that I gave you that has email addresses on it for you. Have a good evening. <laughs>